Disclaimer, this video is intended for mature audiences. Everything we say and do is completely satirical. Take it all with a grain of salt. I swear to God, you're the messiest person alive. Like, he's hot, but his vibes just really aren't Oh, you mean I love that guy. Work for you, cook for you, help you around the house. And that's if you just leave. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. My interest, um, watching TV, my phone, watching TV on my phone, occupation, chat. So, what made you choose to live here? Why I moved into this absolutely splendid house was so I could have some new people to observe in their natural habitat. I think it'll be incredibly entertaining for me and all of my new friends. I think the reason why I moved into this house is just because frat life really, really wasn't for me, you know? I was, I was really like, partying, I wasn't focused on getting myself a woman to treat and respect an alpha male like me. Well, I originally moved into this house because I didn't want to live in my dad's mansion anymore. He was way too overbearing and was totally holding me back from my true potential. And in a way, living in this house is putting myself into the shoes of the poor and marginalized. And really, it's kind of like charity work, taking care of these losers. Um, but I, I've really been expanding my horizons and- And all right, I'm gonna cut you off there. Oh, I don't live here. I'm just here. What were your thoughts on Jeffrey Chiselchad? Oh, him? Receding hairline, probably gonna go bald in like five years now. Did you just flip me off? I'm gonna lay an egg on your head, you nasty gay ass bitch. I think that Jeffrey Chiselchad, he's like, he's hot, but he, his vibes just really aren't it, you know? Like I'm a girl's girl, so I would never sleep with someone who gives off Womanizer by Britney Spears, but like DMs are open. Jeff, I mean, he's a great guy. He likes ass. I can respect that in a man. 
his views on women are a little iffy, but um, I can push past that. Yeah, let's go! So what were your first impressions of Bacon? Bacon? You asked me this question because he's a man? I do not partake in those homosexual activities. Oh, Bacon is really cool. I actually really like living with him. He's great for content, but I do think that his skin could really use some work and he could actually use some of my um, nourishing skincare uh, foundation cream that you can get at kla.shop. I think it would really help with his, um, how do you say, uh, depression. Okay, so I just need you to sit here while I do this. Okay, can you do that? Okay, I don't care. Hi guys, welcome back to another Kayla video. Today we're gonna be giving a makeover to this total bum using my special soap formula called Foaming this? Hand Soap Lavender. Okay, I need you to stay quiet while I'm filming. We're gonna do that again. What the fuck did I say? You wanna hear loud? You wanna zip, hear loud, bitch? Zip your lips. I'm gonna lay an egg on your head or some just... shit. Just. Okay, ready? Is this supposed to be some sort of fucking bribe? Chill. Hey guys, welcome back to another Kaylee vlog. Today we're gonna be doing a makeover on this 32 year old bum. Say hi, bum. On uh, bacon, I think he uses me as his drug guinea pig, but makes a mean margarita. This one will put you to sleep for hours, for hours, for hours. Impressions of living with Kaylee? Uh. Kayla, um, I think that's how you say your fucking name. I don't know how to deal with rich people bullshit. Um, yeah, basically what I just said, rich people bullshit. Um, sometimes I steal her, I think it's like facial cleansing oil, but it's really minty, fruity, tingles my tongue in a special kind of way. Well, you see, Kayla, smoking hot, dude, but she talks way too much. She needs to learn to appreciate a high value man like I do. Uh, I think I've heard you refer to him as Stacy. <gasps> oh my gosh, my bestie! I love Stacy so much. She's always there for me, and we can always talk. Hi, Stacy. Hey, oh best my friend. God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Bessie, you're never gonna guess what happened to me today. Okay, so Layla was totally like talking to me, and she was telling me all about this guy who she'd been snapping with, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I know that guy, right? And so I talked to Aubrey, and she's like, oh, I know that guy too, and it turns out that we've all actually been fucking him for the past four months, and it was so crazy, and then I confronted him. <laughs> okay. I'm Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> what about living with Jeffrey Chisel Chad? Oh, Jeff, he's a great guy. Um, his podcast is a little iffy, but he likes tits. I can respect that in a man. I like ass, bro. Oh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> <laughs> what about Chet? Who? Oh, Boo Thing? I love Chet. Chet's my bro. Not Wait, no, no. Boo no. Oh, bruh. Boothang. <laughs> what were your first impressions of Boothang? Fuck. <laughs> Me, uh, uh, Daisy and the Scouts. I'm alone! I'm a man! Okay, guys, I'm going, I'm going to- mm -hmm. This one will put you to sleep for hours, hours, hours. The money! <laughs> the dollar! thoughts on bacon bacon um i think he uses me as his like drug guinea pig big guinea pig guinea pig guinea pig wait 
You should. Guinea pig. <laughs> my beauty vlog. I swear I cannot be showing my followers a messy kitchen. You need to clean this up right now. I'm you need to learn a woman's place. I'm sorry, I'm just not doing the right accent. And you want. Oh, I was supposed to die. Your moves? That's my bad. Or our. Eden, Eden. What? <laughs> That's good. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeffrey Tickle Chat here. Um. Oh my god, bro. This wasn't ready to be an alpha. Alpha. Alpha.